Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Sergeant Neutral Play Survival Chaos. We are playing as the Void Elves against the Trolls, the Dwarves, and the Naga. So, an interesting little setup. Here comes the freeze. And the freeze is done. We love that very, very much. So, um, here we're going to hit a little good luck, have fun, everybody, as per the usual. And now we're going to be rolling to see what we get. So, that is going to be three. One, two, three. Soul Reaver, 25% lifesteal and 15% chance to do critical strike, replaces the Ranger. So a much, much more aggressive backline, which we very, very much like. There's a gold mine here, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that, especially with the Naga coming in. And then over here are the Trolls, and there's nothing really too, too tantalizing over here, which is great. And that means that the dwarves are across from us, easy to keep an eye on, and very, very content with this start, up, start at least. So here we are, and here is our first reaver. Oh, my mistake. These are frontline units. Okay, so good, strong frontline. We like that very much. And uh, we're going to need it, because we have minus 12% damage and minus 10% hit points. Very, very, very spicy. But the evasion, as you guys know, I absolutely adore. And we're going to be going straight into the middle again, trying to really take advantage of this early tier 1 bonus that we have. And here they come, you know, they're definitely holding on pretty strong in the middle. Some sirens. Gorgon. Okay, so nothing particularly new. There's no unit. Oh, High Priest. Okay. Okay. High Priest, I believe, abolishes magic? I'm not entirely sure. Not as familiar with the High Priest. You don't see them nearly as much as one would necessarily anticipate. And all right, they're coming into the middle against us. That's fine. Certainly a little irritating, but not the end of the world. And they are pushing into us as well. So we are getting pushed in on all sides, but that's kind of to be anticipated with the Void Elves, at least early game. It is it is a tough, tough early game for the Void Elves. But luckily, this Tier 2 should help us go. Let's check the research real quick. So one on uh, Buffon. Buffon. Buffon, I imagine it's, it's uh, French. French, it's a, and I'm not saying this just to be an asshole. It is French for uh, idiot. So maybe that's what it is, or it's Buffon. And it could mean something completely different that I'm just completely unaware of. So uh, basic elven masonry is what we're going to be going for. Yeah, and we're, we're going to have to spend probably a tier one and maybe just a couple little units here and there just to make sure we hold the line depending on what our spawns look like and it looks like they're actually going to be hitting almost at the exact same time five four two one but the good news is we don't have to spend any money right away so that's actually quite quite reassuring for all of us and I think what I'll probably do is just nuke the trolls real quick. Get rid of them. But then we are going to have to spend probably just uh, two or three units, maybe. Mike, the angel has dropped, has is starting to push. I wish I could know which one it would be so I could push that way as well. But unfortunately, it is simply not in the cards as of yet. So she stands ready, unfortunately. She stands ready to die pretty quick. Yeah, and he just has a big old line in the back there. But luckily, with the extra 12.5% mana, you know, we're going to be making a fair amount of that back. So I think we are going to be upgrading this way gate so I can get this mine pretty, you know, as fast as we possibly can. And then we will be going into uh, basic steel weapons. Which, if they're not using... S if, if the upgrade's just better steel weapons, what exactly are they using now? Food for thought. Yeah, 
Yeah, and they got one damage upgrade. Nothing there, so probably going heavy into Econ. And there they go. Excellent. And we just got... Oh, funnily enough, that's Corium weapons. I don't quite think that's the exact same thing. And good, we're pushing, 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 which is what we like, like, like. And then we are going to be getting some improved elven masonry, just to make sure we've got a solid baseline in terms of econ. Because ironically enough, it's actually quite nice that we're able to get this line here, so it kind of focuses in what we got to do. Unfortunately... It seems as though the dwarves aren't quite going in as hard as we are into the middle. Which would explain how they went tier 2 on one of these lanes right away. So here we are. We are also going to be getting basic steel armor to kind of help mitigate the minus 10% hit points. Because that is fairly spicy and he is 2 into econ. Unfortunately, most of our push got eliminated there. Ooh, but we are able to start taking good little chunks out of his base, and we've got this other push going in. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, so that's what they do. Okay, so that must be berserk. Okay, yep. One zero, a little bit of damage. Nothing nothing to cry about. We're okay. This temple okay, so he's still gonna be hurting. Okay, there goes the tier two. So that's the damage he took. That's fine, that's simply how it is. It is what it is. And he's pushing into me. So we gotta get... Oh, that's the ward bearer. Okay. So that means he's already tier 2. And that means we gotta get ready and go... I mean, his, his uh, meditation shrine's already tier 2. And this is gonna be a big ol' push. Big ol' big ol' big ol' push. Do I want to get Void, improve Void Trapping, or just go straight to Meditation try? I think going straight to Meditation Trine is probably the best choice here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Because we're doing decently in terms of holding him there, but here comes this push, and that will knock us back fairly... That'll knock us back a good little distance. Okay, and he's got healing going. Which we can tell because they have a level 1 magic. Alright, and here comes the Naga once again, kind of shutting us out of the middle. Irritating, but c'est la vie. And we're just not chewing through them quite as fast as I would like. But that's life, baby. All right. And so the trolls have gone there. It seems like it's really only the dwarves. They've actually gone two into armor. We'll see if they probably went into melee or something like that. That's a percent. Uh, I think I'd rather just avoid grip aura. And then here, I think it's going to be important to get a void implosion. Very nice. Nether Shield also good, but Void Arcanist is really what's going to be the priority numero uno here. And here I'm going to let them push in just a little bit more so I can get this help from our towers. Because that is going to just be a tier one just because I, I need to clear it out. Alright, so that's upgrading nicely. Void form could also be quite nice. 
Phantom Image could be very, very nice as well. There's just a lot of great stuff here. I think I will be picking up Phantom Image. Six, five, four, three... Two, one, good, fine. And once again, we're still chewing through them in terms of our tower. And here we'll only have to use about a unit or two to get our barracks back online. And there goes his entire front line, and then we'll be able to push back fairly comfortably. So now we need some improved void tapping. Just to help our defense, since we are going to be on the <laughs> defense for a little bit here. We need a lot of these upgrades to come through so we can actually get a little bit more oomph behind us. Power shot could be quite nice. Boom. All right, so there, there we are. We're doing quite well here. And that will be able to push out, and I think it would be best for us to keep the imp the unit upgrades coming. Because we are slowly kind of taking back the mid there. And I think throwing Sir 5 ol up there will also really help, as well as kind of get a stronger buff there. So plus one level of Vorpal Braids, not bad. Advanced Steel Weapons is definitely tempting, but I think Improved Steel Armor is going to be what we're going to want to go with next. Yeah, and he, and there's the Nakari, the, the Faceless Overseer, the Nakari Overseer. Which is the extra unit that they're able to get per wave. All right, so that's going in quite nicely. We are... I'm actually, frankly, fairly comfortable with how this is going. Another shield, hysteria. Hmm. 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 Let's get some of this magic going. And that'll be, that'll be a nice little push. We'll be able to hold that relatively comfortably. And this is actually going to be a scary push. <laughs> Which I like. I like sending scary pushes down my enemies' lanes. And good. Frankly, the longer we can hold like this in mid, the more content I will be. And once again, these shadow... These void clones? What exactly are they called? <laughs> Phantom images are really, I think, one of the kind of like the hidden gems of the Void Elves, just because you're essentially getting a free, very fragile, but free unit partying with you. Research finished. Uh, Shadow Stock. Yeah, let's just get this out of the way. That way we know we have it and we're, we don't have to be quite as worried. Okay, so the fact that Night Knight has left the game. I will not be trifled with. I will not be trifled with, I believe is uh, Lady Vosh. Life, maybe? Um, bum, 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 bum. We will be picking this up. Upgrade complete. Still Voodoo Hut level 1, totally fine. And that's all three of... Oh. Whatever. Alright, but now we're going to be able to start chomp, chomp, chomping on his defenses. And that's going to be a free barracks for us. And with that in mind, now it's time for us to pick up some good old unit defenses here. Alright, and now we're actually going to be doing a lot of damage to Night Knight. This might be another free barracks. 
Oh, my Void Elves are hungry, apparently. Yeah, boom, there's another Barracks gone. Okay. So I guess we'll just go for straight to Tier 3. <laughs> and we are dominating in the middle. That was uh, quite a fortuitous series of events, I have to say. And then this will be irritating, but a tier 1 spell and good base defense is... I mean, it, it turns it into laugh... basically kind of laughable. Upgrade complete. A void line could be pretty powerful to get right away, but I don't think we need to right now. Just as of yet. I think I'd rather get these void upgrades... Ricochet, and then we can hold back for a little bit, see what the game presents to us. And this is going to be an ugly, ugly push if he's not ready for it. Voodoo, so he's getting pushed in on there. He's already used a tier 1 spell. He's gone tier 2, which is good. It might be a little late, but actually no. Combined with that tier 1 spell, he'll probably be able to hold if, he's care if he plays it right. And he has, so... He's totally fine. Uh, Supreme Void Tapping. Uh, I think we'll just do this. I stand ready. Five, four, three, two, one. I think now we get the Void. Yeah, especially since we're going to be picking up these barrack, these towers. Maybe not right away, but soon enough. And once again, once Athissa gets into our actual base, we're going to be able to rip her apart. Or she's just going to hold right there and be the worst thing in the world. Okay, no, she's actually pushing in. But we're fine. Survival's just deciding to uh, 1v1 the barracks. 1v1 an actual building. And here we're just going to keep chewing through them. Because this is, I believe, just a tier 1 spawn that's coming through here. Alright, and yeah, if this, is, if this is out of here. And I'm trying to think of where I would like to push tier 3 the hardest. And I think it will be against the Naga. Just because since this is a comm, I'm less worried about what they have in their kind of bag of tricks at this point. And I'd rather just hammer the... Um, our dear Naga home, and you guys, we have all seen what the Naga are able to do late game. And boy, oh boy, would I like to avoid that. Survival's dead, that's fine. Alright. They're pushing in hard into Buffin. And I think we're going to be getting some advanced steel armor, so we'll be 3-3. Three and three. How are they doing? They're 4-1. and one. How is he doing? Six and three. Okay, so the dwarves are, are starting to rev up here. Which, as with all things, I would like to avoid if possible. All right, there's there's the tier two. Is he going to be able to hold? Yes. Because there goes Murden. But here come my boys as well. All right, so we've so we are now sitting at around a grand. We've got the void shots going. Uh, what else do I really kind of want to get at this point? Um, I don't know. I'm. I don't know if you've noticed. I feel like we're doing pretty well. <laughs> but I've I've thrown away bigger leads than this before. So ideally, I would like that not to happen. 
Oh, that was his... Oh, he didn't go any economy. Okay, that explains perhaps why that fell apart so quickly for him. We are going to be going... Upgrading this way gate that way. Lever Green has lost his upper barracks. Yeah, so we're going to have to start being pretty careful about what happens there. There's Lady Vosh. Okay, so I'm glad we went tier 3 here. Because we'll be able to help deal with... However the dwarves are pushing that way more easily. And knowing that they are as powerful as they are... I mean, let's... I think we've got to reinvest into our economy just a little bit more. Because this will eventually die. And it will give us money. <laughs> that we can use to hurt other things. <laughs> Oof, but that is such a big group of uh, trolls in the middle. Ooh, but I love seeing our void lines just do all that sweet, sweet damage. Mm-mm-mm. It is uh, delectable. <laughs> yeah, these guys are dying. Yeah, it's kind of par for the course. And these guys will be irritating, but we'll be able to build a pretty good lineup around them and then kind of just push them through. And here they go again. Yeah, good, 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 good. So that's all going quite well. Let's pick that up. Let's get some more improved Arcanite weapons. Vorpal Blades could be interesting. A Void, void Implosion, I think, would be... Is it, We're kind of at that point. There it is. Because once again, Void Implosion could do a lot of damage in this little zone here. Not nearly as much as our dear sweet uh, sorceresses, but, you know, some, some damage nonetheless. And he just lost his upper barracks. I'm assuming he'll probably be leaving fairly soon. So it'll be us versus the dwarves pretty fast here. Because, yeah, it's unfortunate that both of his heroes decided to go into me because that is that made his defense far, far, far more difficult to actually really hold. Uh, the Arcanist is just doing Arcanist things. We're going to let him push through because I'm not... You know, I'd definitely rather kill them with my buildings. Um, and we could also th throw out... I think this is Kaara. Four, three, two, one, and now we can just start going to town. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine, and that's gonna make us some money, baby. Some money, money, money. Money, money, money. Yeah, and we're gonna be taking his fortress, so let's get some advanced Arcanite weapons just to make sure that we're actually able to do that. Yep. That's Queen Ashara. That just hit the ground. Hope we don't lead her to us. Because that would be pretty scary. And frankly, um, <laughs> a special unit coming r right down into me is uh, definitely one of the things that could really kill this momentum here. Six, five, four. We're going to be sen sending survival out towards the enemy. And basic adamantine armor. Got to make sure that doesn't fall behind. Yeah, because uh, survival will be able to mop up anything that's left there, in essence. We took a little bit of damage there. Hysteria could be interesting. Nether shield. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, void form, also tempting. Ability stun units is nice. 
let's get some vol yeah, let's get some some void form. Great. So all of that is chugging along lovely. Unfortunately, it seems like both he and I had the exact same idea because there is Murd in bronze beard. Death be a real trip, man. Rokan. All right. And here we'll be able to kind of collect some of our overdue money from... Bow before your queen. Where did Ashara go? Because it's concerning to me that I've lost track of her. But luckily, survival's just chilling in the back, just launching, just lobbing nukes. Okay, well, there's Nizgentis. We are saving up money because I would like to go tier four into this lane. Because unfortunately, they have uh, broken us kind of in that sense. All right. Um, oh my God, this is not even level three. Okay, well, we're definitely going level three. And then, actually, now that I know that that wasn't even level uh, three, we're also going to be going into advanced adamantine armor. Adamantite armor. Luckily, Rokan is doing a great job of holding off the rest of his forces while we chew through Muradin. I mean, okay. This gave me mana? you um advanced adamant tight armor i mean i'll take i'll take free mana <laughs> free mana is not something i'm gonna complain about all right and luckily murden bronze beard's gonna go down here rokan really held the line for us i wish my units would stop pushing into there but luckily, Nesgentis is allowing for more Naga to push into that front there. All right, so now Rokan's going to go down. Lovely amount of gold right there. Great, we got that. Let's see how this... Oh, this doesn't look great. Did he tier 2? I hope he did, because that means he won't be able to tier 2 for this push. Another 5 and 5, 5 and 3. Okay, so the base defense isn't as high as it could be. 6 and 5, but their towers are doing damage, yeah. Fortunately, I would really have rathered this be more of a push. At least this initial kind of hit. But that's the issue when you've got a nuker in the front line. He tends to nuke things, you know, as is want to do. Alright, and luckily we're getting some good old void shots going in there. And here comes our vat, so we're going to be upgrading this way gate. More basic Corium weapons. So we can really capitalize on our damage dealing potential. There's a tier two. Awesome. And he's still not done yet. All right. There goes the end of the Naga, ostensibly. There's an extra thousand. There's an extra 500 gold. Where can we push that into? Uh, Void Whispers could be nice. Void Drake and Sentry. Hmm. Nah. Let's go boom more. <laughs> Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Void Sorcerer has been killed. Totally fine. Let's get some more damage going. Yeah, 
because we're still we're still at the point where we're able to chew through him. Here come two of his uh, heroes here, and I think we'll respond with probably Phantom Warrior. Yeah. Someone a little lower down the totem pole to kind of get... Oh, no, actually, Alaria could probably do pretty well here. I'll throw her out. Yeah, that way she's in this back line, but also that means if they get close, they'll still be able... She'll, she's still undercover from the tower. We're going to be getting more void draining. Lady Vosh is coming out. Yeah, so they're slowly going to be pushing us back out, it looks like. One, zero, good. And then I'll, th I'll throw survival down this lane as well. Just so we can make sure we can give our full and undivided attention to dear Muradin and dear Bran. The bronze beard bros. That might have been a little too late. Oh, no. Perhaps I was simply talking out of my ass. Actually, while we're... Ah, I didn't click on it in time. I wanted to see just how... Oh, wow. Poor Bran is just getting absolutely mulched. Okay. Okay. More Corium weapons, so that should put us at nine. Yes, good. So we'll be done with Corium weapons. They just lost their fortress. And that's gonna be a big push, but we're gonna be we can tier two that and move on. And here comes a nice little groupling. This is actually perfect because it allows them to catch up with them. And it doesn't let the heroes get singled out and murdered. Which is one of my least favorite things to happen to heroes. So we're going to be getting that Waygate Tier 4. So we got some very, very damaging Void Elves kicking in here. And we're actually able to really blunt each one of these waves. Almost able to, like, take it out completely. Which is fairly shocking. Yeah, and he's running low on mana, and the Bastion is still just level 2. So there goes Lady Vosh. Does this no, no longer... Okay, no longer sends to all, so we're just gonna... Slowly but surely... F win this. I mean, it's always nice to get a good quick win under your belt. I mean, you know, roughly 33, you know, 40 minutes is uh, it's a pretty quick win. So that feels nice that we were able to finally get one of those. Yeah, and yeah, and we've actually been able to fully destroy this these pushes. So Alaria Void Runner is gone, but luckily survival is still very comfortable in the back. And we're going to take these barracks. And it is all kind of downhill from here for the dwarves. And I'll send Kaara to, over on that side. More Corium armor. Because we're going to be able to mop this up relatively no problem. We've got a much better front line for the moment here. And that's where I believe it was Lady Vosh who really helped us out because she was able to let our units kind of pool and get ready for the party that this became. And here we go. And here comes Kara. Or Kara. I don't know how I don't know how this is pronounced. <laughs> Apostrophes are always have always been kind of a mystery to me. Alright, improved Corium armor. 
Let's, I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound at this point. Yep, there that goes. All this is really busted up. We're at least going to be picking up this tar tower. Oh my god, and are we? That's really co going in hard. Yep, and then we've got this massive push coming in this way, and then we have this push with a special unit coming in that way. And that's upgrading. Let's get some more void form. We're going to throw you down there. And uh, more nether shield, yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, kind of like um, the blood elves. The, the void elves, I mean... If you can get the upgrades there in time and survive the early game, most importantly the early game, you're 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 in for a bit of a party. <laughs> but it's the surviving the early game because it is so so easy as you guys saw. And and remember, we were getting pushed in and we had the tier one upgrades. We had these two armor and twenty five HP. With 25% lifesteal and 15% chance to do two and a half times damage. And we were still getting our absolute shit rocked in the lanes. But if you're able to survive that and you get kind of like mirror images, phantom, you know, illusory images, however you want to call it. Then all of a sudden, it, it, it becomes a much, you become a much, much scarier group to face off against. Picking that up. And here, let's get some enhanced elven masonry. That way, you know, when people come to this valley, they will have no they will know due to our long standing buildings of the victory of the void elves here. Boom. It also really doesn't hurt that we got all that feed from two barracks from the two barracks facing us right away i mean that really just blew the doors wide open in terms of what we were able to actually do yeah void whispers what the hell with kara here <laughs> i think we're gonna be doing just fine especially since poor brand's brand bronze beard is trying to hold the line workshop level four mortar trike and then this this is the end here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you uh, so much for watching this episode of Sergeant Neutral Play Survival Chaos. I am so glad I was finally able to bring you guys a win. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. I've got a couple new series of videos coming out, so keep an eye out for those. And if you like what you saw, as you always already know, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Sergeant Neutral, signing out.